Hi everyone and welcome to another Experiencing IT video. Today we are sharing our printer using a Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned. For this project you can use any Raspberry Pi model you'd like. I'm using this old Raspberry Pi 1 Model B which I had lying around. The first step is to download and install Raspbian. Go to raspberrypi.org, click on Downloads and download and install the Raspberry Pi Imager. I already have it installed, so let's open it from my desktop. Choose OS, choose Raspbian Others, Raspbian Lite. Choose the SD card and click right to write the image to the SD card. Before putting the Raspberry Pi on the root of the SD card, I'm going to create a file called SSH with no extension. This will enable SSH by default, so that I don't need to plug a keyboard or a screen to connect to the Raspberry Pi. To update the Raspberry Pi, we need to open a remote session. But just before that, you need to determine what is your Raspberry Pi IP address. For that, you should refer to your router's manual and find out how you can check the DHCP's client list as it is different for each router manufacturer. Once you have the Pi's address, open a Windows command prompt. I will use the Windows SSH client, but you could use any other client you'd like being the most famous one, putty. Type in SSH Pi at the Pi's IP address, which in my case is 192.168.3.113 and press enter. Type yes and enter to continue. Type the user's password, which is raspberry. Now at the Pi's command prompt, type sudo apt-get update press enter and wait once finished type sudo app-get update and press enter wait for the process to finish and the pi will be updated To install cups, type in sudo apt-get install cups, press enter and wait. With cups installed, the next step is to make some small adjustments. The first one is to add the user pi to the LP admin group so that the user can perform CUPS admin tasks. For that type sudo user mod a capital G LP admin pi and press enter. The second one is to allow printing from the network. For that type sudo CUPS CTL dash dash remote dash any and press enter now for these changes to be applied restart the cup server by typing sudo forward slash etc forward slash ini dot d forward slash cups restart and press enter okay now it's time to add the printer in cups 
First of all, make sure your printer is plugged into the Raspberry Pi. And second, open a browser window and navigate to your Pi's address, colon 631, which is the port used by the CUPS server. If all is installed correctly, you are greeted by the CUPS administration page. From here, go to administration and click the add printer button. If this message shows up, just click on the suggested URL, click advanced and click continue. Click again on the add printer button and type in the username and password. Select your local physical printer, which in my case is the HP DeskJet 1510 series printer and click continue. Type in the location, check the share printer checkbox and click continue. A list of printers will show up, check if your printer is listed, otherwise you'll need to, re to research how to install the drivers for your printer. As you can see, my printer, the DeskJet 1510, is not in the list. So my next step is to install the driver for this printer. From a terminal session I will type sudo apt-get install printer-driver-hpcups. These will install drivers for HP printers. The list of supported HP printers can be found in this page. Link is also in the video description below. As you can see, after installing the correct drivers, my printer is now listed. I will edit and set the default options. With the printer added in cups, let's try and print the test page. Alright, with cups installed and the printer configured, it's now time to install Samba. Ok, to install Samba, again, on a terminal window with an open session to the Raspberry Pi, type sudo apt-get install Samba and press enter. Ok, now with Samba installed, we need to make a small adjustment to the Samba configuration file. To open it, type sudo nano forward slash 
etc. forward slash samba forward slash smb.conf and press enter. Scroll all the way down to the end of the file and you should have two sections printers and print dollar. Under the printer sections change guest OK to yes. And under the print dollar section change read only to no. To save the configuration file press Ctrl X, type Y and press enter twice. For the changes to take effect, it's needed to restart Samba. For that type, sudo systemctl restart Samba. Ok, let's try now to add the printer in Windows. From the control panel, open devices and printers. And uh, let's start the add printer wizard. As you can see, once you start it, the printer is already being found. Let's click Next. Pr now with the printer installed, let's try and print the test page. And with this we finished setting up our PyPrint server. If you'd like the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.